In this video, we are looking at the Scuff Instinct Pro controller. Now this is a Xbox controller and it is probably one of the most expensive Xbox controllers out there to this day. So we're gonna compare it to some other controllers. So the plan today is unbox this, get our first impressions. We're gonna compare it to something like the Elite Series 2 to see which Xbox controller in the Pro range is best to buy. We can even compare it with the original. We can do some gameplay in the back with Elden Ring to see our thoughts and feelings with it. We can even compare it to the DualSense Edge Pro, like see if the PlayStation or Xbox versions better for the controllers. I've heard a lot of things about this controller over the years. So this is the first time really experiencing this. So I'm genuinely quite excited to experience such you know, a popular controller for the very first time. On the box, it just says that it is certified for Xbox. A few different options at the back there, including like what different buttons do and all sorts. Uh, different profiles, uh, instant triggers to activate, all sorts. Interesting sort of feel there with the box. So definitely has like a nice sort of finish. It's interesting how it has like so much padding. It opens up like this and it looks very, very nice. This is the actual controller. Now it looks very, very nice, high quality design. I picked the gray one, you can get a few different colors. You can get black, you can get white, and you can get gray. Overall, pretty nice feeling controller. Looks absolutely amazing. Very cool design. Now, straight away, first things I'm liking is the carbon fiber feel on the sticks. Feels very, very nice here. The faceplate is very smooth in its feeling as well. And overall, the way it doesn't feel too weighty. It feels very nice. Joysticks feel very good. Uh, it comes with a few extra buttons here, such as the mic button there. Pretty premium quality overall from my first thoughts looking at it. We do have those remappable buttons at the back there. We've got four, which is pretty good. As you can see, we've got two black paddles there and two over here. At the back here, we've got these remappable sort of back paddle buttons. With the Elite Series 2, we've got three different versions of this. With this one, we've only got two. So basically, we could slide that across and that'll just click in like that. And then when that's that way, or we'll slide that across. And now we have the pausing right there, if that makes sense. So now they can go all the way down. That's pretty cool, good for shooters. And we got a profile button at the back there. Lots of different options and also your basic sort of faceplate buttons there. Pull this up and we've got a few extras. We have an accessories kit and we've also got the Instinct Pro sort of package where it comes with like all the info. Let's look at the accessories kit. Nice braid and overall very nice. So. I'll just click in there and you can attach this to your Xbox. It also luckily comes with some batteries included. It's really nice that they actually included the batteries. Like the original Xbox controllers, it does come with the batteries inside. So it's nice to have those included and we can just pop that in. That's a very upgraded feel to the original controller. Straight away I can feel like it's very like premium quality. And I think people can customize the face plates as well. There is a capability of doing that. As you can see, we can actually customize the face plates and have different colors attached. And that just comes out really nicely and really easily. Has this sort of magnets inside of that face plate. It just slides in super nicely and super easily. I'm very impressed with that. That's really nice. Everything about this man, like feels very premium and very, very nice. So it's definitely worth the money in terms of the premium quality of it all. Like it feels very, very nice. I'm very impressed so far. Aha, we've even got some extra joysticks here. So we've got two extra ones. So we've got a long one, got a shorter one as well that it comes with. So if we take off the faceplate, I'm guessing we can easily switch those around. Yeah, that'll just, come out like that and we can just pop this in. That just clicks in pretty easily and we can just pop the faceplate on and now we have the longer joystick on so we can customize it. 
The only thing it's missing is sort of like a case of its own for the Instinct Pro because a lot of the other Pro controllers do come with a case and they come with a few extra accessories. But overall, I'm still enjoying this. So in the power up options here, it does say that it is accessible with the charge and play kit with the Xbox, so that's good news. Straight away we get the vibration and now it's connected pretty easily. Now the batteries are dead inside the box unfortunately, but that's okay, we'll just charge it up with the cable and should be okay. So straight away when you connect it up, it gives you a rumble, so it has definitely the rumble. And what's also good is it has that mic button here where it's connected to a like a microphone or connected to your obviously your headset it has that silence option there which is quite good and it has a light there it doesn't look like it has an actual original profile for the actual scuff pro controller which is interesting because it does say that it is a design for xbox controller so it is an official thing so it's interesting that it doesn't have an actual thing for it and the instructions don't actually say anything for it. Like it doesn't say when you connect it, there's like a support for it with the actual Xbox software or anything like that, which is kind of a downer because I feel like the Elite Series 2 does have that connectability. Overall, my thoughts and feelings and first impressions are that it is a very nice controller, has a lot of great things about it, it has a great cable, has really nice sort of feeling on the faceplate and at the back there has the you know customizable back buttons as well what they are coming up as is sort of like up and down buttons that you can play with so instead of pressing these ones they sort of go left and right with some of these black paddles so does already have that. And I'm sure there's a way that you can customize it a bit better as well. Also, in comparing it to the original controller, it definitely has a little bit more of it with those back buttons and the customizable buttons. So it's a bit nicer in terms of the feel and quality of it with the original controller. I feel like the Elite Series 2 does have a little bit more with it, like disconnect a lot better with the Xbox. Also, we got the box and it comes with a few extra things in it, such as, you know, other adjustable things such as this. And you can take up the joysticks and actually adjust like the pressure of all of these things. And, you know, it's all magnetic here as well. It's not interchangeable with the face plates, but still a very nice controller. So. I don't know, I feel like you will get more out of the Elite Series 2, it's a bit cheaper. Comes with a really nice case with the wireless charger inside of it and a lot more joysticks and a lot more options included. And we got four different replaceable back paddles there as well. And you know, the carbon fiber feel with those as well. I don't know, I feel like you're getting more out of the Elite Series 2 than you would with the scarf in a way, I feel like you would. And also with the DualSense Edge as well, like same thing with the case and all the customizability. It came with a case and it came with a few extra options and stuff like that, then it would be top tier. But definitely still a great controller. Is it worth like over $300? I don't know because, you know, it is so expensive, but it's definitely such a great quality controller overall. We'll see over time which one I'll be using more, the Elite Series 2 or the SCUF controller. I'm definitely liking this controller though. So those are my first impressions and first thoughts and feelings. So thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you want to see more and I'll see you guys next time.